right guys name is tyler aka nanogenics and today as you can see on your screen we're about to have a premiere for brand new it said characters and uh last night we actually got a preview or a hint they haven't done one of those in a minute for what appears to be launch now i don't know if that's what's going to be in this who knows but uh, i'm going to react to whatever this mini videos and stuff will be and then also i've been tagged in a lot of things on twitter and i just want to talk about a couple things involving legends right now because i know a lot of people are not very happy with what's happening with legends in this you know last couple of months so i just want to talk about it get my thoughts on it but first i'm gonna see what they're doing right here see if they talk about any of that i doubt i doubt toshi will because it looks like it is going to be toshi again but we'll have to see what happens so anyways waiting on this to start and uh yeah we'll see what's up and while i wait if you guys are enjoying this video hit that like button of course if you're new subscribe why not video and stuff hello everybody hi toshi I'm the of dragon ball legends toshi this month i'll be releasing a short version of video and stuff first i just wanted to say a big thank you for everybody that has been playing legends for the past two months and enjoying the legends festival released a thank, bunch of new you, content toshi. including lots of events and tons of campaigns, as well as a constant income of Chrono Crystals through mission plans for you guys. Plus, the arrival of Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. I can only imagine what the chat is saying right now. It. Of course, the development team will continue to do their best to release even more enjoyable content for Legends. So, let's jump right into the new information and talk about some new characters that will be arriving soon. First up... Oh God. Oh, it really is the Yamcha. Launch? You ready? The youth version of Yamcha and Launch are joining the fight in Legends. Okay, this is pretty dope, this though. This is Launch's first appearance in the game. We'll reveal even more detail via our social media accounts, so keep an eye out. There is just one more thing to announce. What? Brand new game mode in development. That is, a brand new mode for Legends that will be completely different from what we have right now. Okay. I can't fill you in on too much details right now, but it will be a single player PVE mode where you can play to compete scores with other players. Okay. We're working very hard on this mode right now and aiming to release it one way or another in spring, so stay tuned. Show us. Legends will keep changing for the better. As I said before, today was just a short video, so that's it for me. We will continue to try and give you more information through videos like these throughout 2021. So please don't miss it out and I hope to see you again. Goodbye for now. No. No. Is that it? Oh, crap. Yo, I got taken out the angles on that one. That was so fast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so a brand new mode is coming to Dragon Ball Legends, which I think is going to answer a small portion of one of the things I was going to talk about. So what I pulled up here is actually a tweet from... Trunk Su, who is a contributor to the wiki or maybe the runner of the wiki, I think. Um, but I got, I got tagged on this a ton of times. By the way, you, you tagged me, but <clears throat> you do not follow me. Of course, I don't follow you, so fair enough. But um, I've been tagged on this. This is one that's gotten a decent amount of traction. As you can see, there are over a thousand retweets, over a thousand likes. Um, a lot of people obviously have been talking about the Legends Limited characters because we've been getting, you know, fairly a fairly decent amount of them. Um, obviously, I, I do think it depends on what they do in february but in my personal opinion it kind of looks like they're testing idea of one of these a month now the thing that i do want to say before i get any further well it's still in my brain i don't i get the hype behind winning a legends limited unit obviously you know like as as i go for one um a lot of times i want one though so i can make videos on it like with you know gohan we've already made besides the summoning video two actual like gameplay videos that were mostly around gohan as well but um they're not like none of these three besides maybe broly are i'm not trying to like downplay obviously ui i'm not trying to downplay gogeta blue because i think i think both of those units are better than some people give them credit for um but like i don't think they're like must have units for a lot of these teams right like they're they're, they're not so maybe that's their idea behind releasing so many but regardless we have got four brand new lfs and i think if it wasn't for the fact that one of these months was obviously new year's and holidays which is a huge celebration across the world it wouldn't have been a double lf banner you know like i don't think we would have had double lf so this number would probably be three if this were any other time in the year but since we are looking at the black friday into holidays that's why it's been four so i do totally understand that is a lot of lfs a 0.5 percent chance 
Granted, it could be worse. Things like Grand Cross release characters with a 0.5% chance all the time. Luckily, festival units have a guaranteed drop. Um, it's a lot of summons. It's 30 multi summons. But after you do that, you actually do get a guaranteed uh, drop of the new festival character. And that's something that Legends doesn't have right now. Even with all these step ups, there is no pity system. And I do. I wish that something they would implement would be a pity system that after you do so many multis, if you still haven't gotten it, you get a copy of it. So there was like a cap out to this. Like, I, I do wish that one or two events every two weeks. So I, I that's another huge thing. And that's why he mentioned events. But like, I got to argue that a little bit. Like what? Like I, there have been some events, but not that many. Um, now, the the thing that I don't, does it mention it here? It does. So raid boss who no longer make any sense. So yeah, the boss HP was gone so fast. I did not get the chance to ever even hop in and do it. Now, granted, I think it's more or less like popular game is popular here, but that was definitely a problem too. I think a good solution to the raid boss would be just like, actually Gresh mentioned this in the video that we did just the other day together, would be as opposed to like HP, is you contribute how much you do, how much damage you do, and you get rewards based on how much damage you do, but he's actually around for a set period of time. Because I like that raid boss went down in 10 hours. I actually didn't get to do it myself. I woke up that morning to do it, um, waited, waited like a couple hours because I was playing with my kid. And then when I got back on there, he was dead. <laughs> so like, I was like, well, I guess I don't get to do the raid boss this week. Um, Zenkai souls is, is, is too hard to get. I agree 100%. Zenkai souls are like right now in the last four weeks, we've had uh, super Saiyan God of Vegeta. We've had L of Piccolo. We've had, um, blue Android 21. And then if you guys didn't see it, trunks, the blue future trunks is now getting a Zenkai as well. There is literally no way unless you're welling out, which even then the ex the exchange rates for metals into Zenkais is abysmal, which maybe before before Zenkais were so abundant was maybe made sense in their head. But Zenkai souls are given at such a small drip like like time rush is a great example. Time rush only gives about 60,000 metals, so it's impossible to get enough metals to um, awaken or to Zenkai awaken all of these as well as getting awakening equips everything every two weeks like it, it like it truly is there's there's unless you have been prepared for this for months before the just like insane constant drop of Zenkai's there's no way you're ready for all this it's absolutely absurd how many they keep like I don't mind all the Zenkai's because I don't even think you need to Zenkai every unit like I know I know I've not Zenkai to every unit like I just have it like I don't have 18 Zenkai I don't have uh, Goku Black Zenkai I don't have DKB Zenkai I think I did their like level ones and that's it I got out like period but does Zenkai 7 every unit that's released like the amount of resources that takes is almost crazy like Rai mentioned he doesn't have his I know I watched him use his the new Android 21 Zenkai he didn't have her fully boosted because just simply the amount of resources it takes now and that's not even including the the super souls and regular souls like just even from Zenkai soul aspect but then if you look at the other soul aspect like it's an in, it's insane and then it's hard to even farm up regular souls right now because they keep dropping these free to play events which I think this person he did mention it 2500 energy to farm uh, only one free to play unit who come back every six months or more like so coming off of the hills of Gotenks which I didn't even get to finish because I didn't have enough to do it uh Kakarot Goku I'm trying to get there because I never finished him totally and it's such a slow drip uh and 21 as well and 21 is taking so much of my energy too and a lot of these things aren't even really events they're more just like skip ticket festivals like that's really all I'm doing is skip ticketing it right but like the, I don't I don't have the energy to do it so like it's super unfortunate so uh, I agree with all these things. I, I think the biggest thing is they need to readjust the drop of Zenkai Souls right now tremendously. Anyways, I hope that they fix the influx of content. I hope that we, I hope that this announcement for a new PVE mode that is different from how you play the game right now. I mean, that, that actually excites the freaking crap out of me. It's something I've been asking Dokkan to do for forever since we saw what they did with Battlefield 1.0, which was half of it was very different from normal Dokkan. The other half went back to being normal Dokkan, but is that I hope with Legends that this mode is really sick, man. Like a, a totally different way. Like maybe like a, a RPG type game or something with, you know, it, it is said literally PVE and you'd be fighting for, if it's a different way to play, since this whole game is all about hands-on real-time fighting, like the only thing I could think of for a different way to play would be more of a turn-based RPG type aspect maybe. So we'll have to see what they do, but that does sound exciting. And maybe that he wanted to throw that in there just to be like, hey, look. <laughs> 
we are doing stuff we're, we're trying to bring new content and new ways you play this game to the game and that that is exciting anyways i just want to talk about this because i got tagged on this a bunch talked about the lack of obvious you know free to play cc period i know the battle plans do give out a decent amount of cc but it doesn't make up for you know four lls multiples and kai's like and and I, I the thing is is I wouldn't expect a free-to-play player to ever be able to do everything like in any of these gotcha games A free-to-play player is never capable of doing everything that's on the board or on the table to to be able to do But you would expect them to be able to do a decent amount of it And if a free-to-play player is trying to focus on like Android 21 But then also the pay-to-play stuff and then also like they maybe want to get the Kakarot Goku like there's just period not enough resources available in the game to get all these things done but i do want to i do want to say this before i wrap up the video because i think they've done a really good job of listening to us in the past and so i think just let's see what they're doing with this pve thing truly if you look over the last two and a half years of this game they've been really really good about listening to the player base i'm a lot better than dogon has been let's wait let's see what they do and uh and let's you know calm down for a second see what this pve thing is all about and uh and see what what they do the, for the next like four to eight weeks moving forward so anyways that's my input on it um i'm very excited uh to try out a new mode in legends that that excites me actually a lot so we'll have to see what that's all about but anyways guys that's the video if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you're new consider subscribing and uh, i'll see you all in the next one bye guys